Greetings everybody, this is Paul the Inventory King and I hope you guys are having an awesome day and enjoying your fish. I would be honored if you guys can click the subscribe button and the notification bell and join me on my fish keeping adventures by subscribing. It would be honored for you guys to subscribe. So what we're doing here in the shop is I got this stand for the 120 gallon saltwater reef tank. And it's a little flimsy for my taste. So what I wanna do is with the two by fours, I wanna beef it up so that it's gonna hold the tank, the water, the rock and the sand, just so it's nice and secure. So let's go ahead and beef this thing up. Okay, so what we got here is we got the supplies, the lumber, the primer and paint. I got the screws in the bag. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do here is on the stand, there's these little, uh, probably half by half or something like that, pieces of wood on all four sides. I'm gonna be pulling those off. taken apart here but again that's okay we're gonna get it figured out okay so this bottom here is pretty much a no-go it is uh, it is kind of kind of warped and rotted and we don't want that so we're gonna go ahead and uh, I want to pull this out So the next step is to get the measurements for the two by fours that we're going to be adding to this to help strengthen the stand. Okay, so uh, like I said, what we're doing is measuring and we are cutting the lumber to start installing the lumber onto the stand to strengthen and beat this thing up. So there you can see that's exactly how it's going to go. And I am attaching it like so. So it's going through the plywood siding of the stand and attaching to the two by four that we just cut. And now on the front side, doing the same thing. All right, so we got the first part of the beefing up of the stand done. You can see we got all four of the uh, posts going from the top here down to the floor in. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and pretty much build a frame like this on the top for the tank to sit on. All right, so what we're doing here is we are measuring for cutting. Make sure you have, you know, the right tools to measure and, and draw out straight lines. Obviously, the straighter the lines, the more uh, secure the stand is going to be. I got this uh, chop saw for a super good deal. Um, definitely a nice tool to have. All right, so now that we got those two pieces cut, they're not screwed in yet, but this is how it's gonna go. Now, from here to here, I went and picked up some two by two for that part. So let's go ahead and measure and cut. Okay, so again, what we're doing here is we're measuring how big okay. of a piece I need to cut the two by two down to, which we're doing now. And you can see that fits in there nicely. Need to measure the other side as well to get uh, the size we need. Measure it, mark it up, and get ready to cut it down. That tool is a great tool to have to make straight lines. And there you go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is drill some pilot holes um, so that the wood doesn't crack. Okay. 
Okay, and then now the next one. Okay, so what you see me doing here is I am using the drill bit to pilot some holes so that the wood does not crack. You want to do this so that the wood doesn't crack. Now I'm getting some of the screws in on this side brace here. Nice and easy job, guys. It's a very easy job. Again, piloting those holes there. Take the extra step and do it. Uh, you know, it's gonna again help you prevent um, the lumber from cracking. Lots of screws, guys. <laughs> A lot of screws are needed for this job. Um, but you know what? You can pick up a box of screws for, you know, a cheap box at Home Depot for under seven bucks, I think is what I picked mine up for. I mean, that's cheap for a hundred screws or so. And then, you know, lumber's not that expensive either. All right, so I am getting the screws screwed in on the back side of the stand here um, onto the original frame. Something that you'll want to do is Make sure you pilot the hole as close to the center of the original brace as you can, just so the screw goes in uh, and it doesn't crack the board because it's a thinner board. So pretty much what I'm doing is building a skeleton around the original stand. Now I wanted to add a little bit more support on the side here, just for that redundancy. Um, grab yourself a level. It makes it nice when you have a level and everything's nice and straight. Um, you know, with your pencil, mark it on what uh, mark it on what you already screwed in, and then mark where it's level so that if it falls, you can just line it back up. Now, what I'm doing here is piloting the holes, and then I found out for it to go into the stand a little bit so that when I paint it and everything, it, the screws are not going to show. So what I uh, did was is I got a big drill bit and just drilled a small little pilot that would allow the screw head to go into the stand. So what I'm doing here, you can see exactly what I just said. That's what I'm doing now, getting those piloted in. Getting the screw in there. Checking to make sure it's still level. And then just go and finish up. Screw everything down. Make sure things are level. And have a good time doing it. It's going to be great knowing this is secure now. All right, everybody. So that is how you beef up an aquarium stand uh, when you got a flimsy one. So as you can see, again, we got the four main posts that go from here all the way down to the bottom. We added this brace in the middle and this brace here, and then we built this on top. The whole key here is the tank is gonna be on here and it's gonna be even weight distribution and the heaviest points, all of these main points, all that weight is going straight to the floor because these are built on the floor. As you can see, it's better now. So that's how you beef it up. Simple, easy, cheap. You just get some lumber and some screws and go to town, go at it. So now I know that this is gonna be safe for my reef tank and I'm not gonna have any concerns whatsoever. What I'm gonna do later is I'm going to, like you could see right here, that piece of wood, I'm gonna add a piece there and then probably a small piece here and here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get some plywood down in there. Uh, that's not anything to do with beefing it up. The main part about beefing it up is getting some nice sturdy lumber uh, that goes straight to the ground and getting it installed. All right, everybody, I am exhausted. It is after 11 o'clock, I'm out here working on this. Um, but what did you guys think of the video? Uh, if you guys could give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, what do you think of uh, this little uh, thing that I did beefing up this stand for the saltwater tank I'm putting together. Um, 
What do you guys think? Comment down below. Again, like the video, share the video. Uh, you guys are all amazing. I hope you're having a wonderful day and enjoying your fish. And stay tanked.